Godzilla vs. Kong crushing it in its debut over the weekend, earning $48.5 million in U.S. box office receipts, $285.4 million worldwide. Folks, that's the best box office movie performance of the pandemic era so far, but it's the fact that the simultaneous release on the HBO Max streaming platform, same day that was released in the theaters, did not hurt box office receipts anywhere near what analysts had expected that has Wall Street and Hollywood chattering. You got AT&T, which is the parent of HBO Max, moving higher by two-thirds of a percent, but AMC is doing incredibly well today, a big jump for that stock. Now cinema chains are pushing back on perhaps Disney's decision to release Black Widow simultaneously on Disney Plus streaming, calling for a higher share of movie revenue or a chance for exclusivity. But did Godzilla vs. Kong just set a precedent for movies going forward? Here in a Fox Business exclusive, we're joined by AMC CEO Adam Aaron. Adam, okay, take your victory lap, but I need to know, are, are those numbers, do you have any updated numbers on Godzilla vs. Kong? Is there anything more that you can give us on that? Well, I sure can, Liz, and first of all, hello, of course. Uh, as you know, Godzilla vs. Kong is a movie about apes, and AMC has been a meme stock since January and the Reddit crowd is tracked this pretty closely. And apparently apes are a really good omen in the world of beams, uh, beam stocks. So there we go. Maybe we were always <laughs> destined for this to be our first big movie. In fact, if you look at our opening performance from Wednesday to Sunday when uh, when Godzilla vs. Kong opened Wednesday of uh, last week, our business at AMC was five times quintuple what we've done in all the weekends before that in Q1. And we take that as a very good sign. We think that's a combination of new movie titles coming out and vaccinations. And let us not underestimate how vaccination is changing the psyche of American consumers. Uh, you know, four million were done the other day, in a day. Uh, and people yeah. are rushing to get vaccinated. That's good news for us all. Yeah, you know what? I don't know if you saw this, but just a couple of hours ago, Dr. Fauci was telling Politico in, in a podcast, quote, we may be able to go to movie theaters by the end of the year. Uh, what would you say about maskless movie going at the end of the year, maybe November, December? Well, obviously, we're so excited when we can lift capacity caps, when we can uh, take masks off. But AMC, is the single highest priority of our company, has made sure that safely going to theaters is our single biggest priority. Uh, we put in a whole mm -hmm. array of safety protocols advised by both the Clorox company and Harvard University's prestigious School of Public Health. Uh, so we're playing it cautious. We're keeping our 50% capacity caps in place. We're keeping mask wearing for now. Uh, and we, we, we're gonna run our theaters this summer with the tightest safety standards we can. But think about okay. this. More than 10 million people have come to AMC theaters in the last many months. We've not heard of even one documented case of COVID-19 being transmitted in our theaters. That's very good news that our safety protocols are okay. working and we're gonna continue them uh, throughout the summer. I wanna get to Disney. Uh, Disney, of course, wants to simultaneous release of The Black Widow, streaming on Disney Plus and in theaters. You have to tell me where you stand on that because the success of Godzilla versus Kong shows that just because it was released on streaming didn't hurt box office, although I, I guess that's sort of a counterfactual we would never know um, because it was released on streaming. I watched it on streaming. It's a mistake. I should have gone to IMAX because, you know, I want to see the gigantic lizard. Don't ignore Godzilla, Adam. That annoyed me. I'm a Godzilla fan versus, you know, Kong. But tell me what the status is with the Black Widow and you at AMC. Well, going back to Reddit, I'm more a fan of apes than I am of lizards from what it's worth. But look, <laughs> uh, everybody has been feeling their way as to how to get through this pandemic. And, you know, studios and theaters have been talking about COVID rules apply. People are experimenting. But uh, I'm not at all worried about where we are with Disney. We've been partners with Disney for decades and decades. Uh, we're gonna be partners with Disney for decades and decades to come. And if you look at what's happened with other studios who've experimented so far, uh, Universal was a big advocate for this simultaneous release uh, on the same day at home that movies hit theaters. 
they abandoned that concept. Warner was a big fanfare announced in December. They were going to do it for all their movies in 2021. They found out it was not as good. They've already abandoned that concept. They've already morphed that all their movies in 2022 will hit theaters for a month and a half, at least before they hit the home. I'm sure, I can't say I'm sure, we're in discussions, but I have every expectation that we'll find a happy middle ground with Disney that's good for Disney shoulders and good for AMC shoulders too. Well, what's happening today is good for AMC shareholders. Your stock is up 14.6% as we speak. Adam, thank you very much. Um, but no, I'm I'm full on Godzilla. You can be Kong. Uh, I'm not going to spoil it for people, but the lizard is my side. Because, yeah, Liz, hello. Um, Adam, great hey, to Rick, see you. To Adam Aaron of AMC. Yeah, sure. Can I say yeah. one quick thing before we go? When I look back over this pandemic, the thing that I'm most proud of is that AMC survived. There were a lot of people who wrote our company off. We raised almost $4 billion in debt, equity, and concessions from lenders and theater landlords. And we've asked our theater, our shareholders to approve up to another 500 million shares. Not that we'll use a amount like that anytime soon. But we're gonna make sure, AMC was a very successful company for 100 years. We're gonna make sure that AMC Theaters is around and is a very successful company for the next 100 years too. Adam, I'm glad you ended with that. Let us hope it's a great American company. Adam, Aaron, we're coming right back. The Dow is looking at a brand new closing record. Don't go away.